What's up you guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rake P801. Something you should know about me is that I'm a sucker for a deal. It doesn't have to be the best priced item. It doesn't have to be the lowest priced item. It just has to be a fantastic price for what you're receiving. This knife right here is $35 on Amazon. Fantastic deal. I just want to run over a couple of the specs for you guys real quick. It has this uh, 14C28N full flat grind. It's a 3.5 inch uh, drop point blade. It's a nice uh, seven and three quarter inch long tip to butt. It's a frame lock as you can see right here with a full steel frame. It has dual thumb studs for deployment. Also has a flipper tab in the back here. Lots of access to the thumb studs flipper tab. Uh, it's not too oversized or too small. It's a nice good size on that one right there. It's going to be right hand tip up carry only. No option for anything else. You got a lanyard hole down here at the bottom for those of you that like to dabble. It has a good functional jimping up here at the top on the blade spine. The jipping's nice and grippy, uh, but it's not too aggressive to where it's going to be uncomfortable or anything like that. Now I want to share a couple impressions with you guys. The detent on this knife is really good. As you can see, the blade just rockets out of there. It stays in there pretty secure when it's closed and works fantastic. The thumb studs, um, there's good access to them. I'm not sure how well they work. I cut myself uh, about a week ago and I don't have a lot of strength there in my thumb. Definitely didn't cut it with one of these knives. I'm a professional. Um, more on that later if you guys want to hear. Uh, I love the industrial look of this knife. That stone wash looks fantastic to me. Rough, rugged, tough, awesome. Um, also the blade centering on this was smack dab in the center right out of the box remember guys this is a 35 dollar knife so 35 dollars perfect blade centering can't complain there um, then there's the angle of the blade uh, coming out of the frame that's the jimping there where it's climbing up and then it tapers down into the drop point at first i didn't really care for that i thought it looked weird um, but it actually makes sense. It's good. It's a nice leverage point to get a good uh, angle and good grip when you're uh, cutting things from that angle. So it's just one of those things where you really don't know until you have it in your hand. I hated it. Now oh, I love it. Also, the steel itself feels really good. It's nice and smooth, um, which is weird because we got a nice smooth steel here on the CJRB Pyrite as well. But this one's more slippery and slick. Um, I love this knife, no complaints about it. Um, but I do particularly care for this one a little bit more. It's nice and smooth, but it doesn't have that slippery, slick feeling. If your hands are wet or sweaty, uh, I don't have any concern that I'll still be able to get a good purchase on this knife. So good job to them on that feeling of the st steel texture. Um, the edges of the frame are chamfered, so when you're bearing down on the knife, it's not going to have those hard edges digging into your hand. So kudos to them for that. Um, the jimping on the frame lock is pretty good. It's similar to what you have back here on the blade spine. It's nice and aggressive, but not too deep to where it's uncomfortable and uh, hurts your thumb. So good job there. And then finally, there's no jimping on the flipper tab which is uh, not great. Uh, if your hands are dry and you're in normal conditions, it shouldn't ever be an issue. But if your hands are wet or you get pretty sweaty hands, it might be an issue for you at some point in the future. So just something to consider. That pretty much covers everything that I wanted to share about this knife. If I was required to nitpick and just pick out a couple things I dislike about it. It'd be a little bit tough, but what I would say is when I first got this knife, uh, where the lock bar uh, interacts with the, uh, the blade to hold it in place, it was a little gritty and made a noise similar to this guy right here. 
You hear that? Um, and I could feel it too, like you feel that little catch. After playing with this one for about half a day, uh, that wore away and I haven't had any issues with it since that point. Also the finish, uh, it's not for everyone. I like it, but I could understand how for some people that might push them away. Also the screws aren't flush with the frame, especially when it comes to the pocket clip. They protrude quite a bit, which could annoy some people. Personally, I don't mind too much. And then finally, the lettering on the blade. It's kind of like billboarding up there. I think it adds to the industrial look. I think it's a nice touch. Um, I'd be fine if it was removed as well, uh, but it, I could see how it could bother some people. Honestly, this knife blew me away for $35. I didn't know you could get so much value for such a low price. I have almost no doubt that this is the best knife for $35 or less. Maybe there's some contenders out there that come close or even rival it, but I don't think there's a knife out there for $35 or less that beats this knife. So if you own this knife or you've owned it in the past and you have an opinion on it or some experiences, please feel free to share those down in the comments below. Other than that, if you like the video, please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay sharp.